tonight uh, Donald Trump is going to go on television yeah. and um, he is going to tell us that um, our, our lake houses in Minnesota are subject to uh, being um, uh, rampaged by uh, another caravan or something to that effect. Uh, and he's going to have to declare a national emergency. What? And I guess ostensibly to build yeah. <laughs> to build um, a I don't know uh, a mile and a half stretch of a wall or a slat or whatever uh, steel uh, cladding. Uh, what does he have? What, uh, give me your sense from a legal perspective. Like, how does this yeah. go down? So, well, I guess there's two questions here. Like, the, the one question is, so what Trump is apparently contemplating is he's going to declare a national emergency and then say, because there is emergent, an emergency, I can now order the U.S. military to go build the wall, even in the absence of congressional authorization or an appropriation allowing me to do so. And, you know, the answer to the question, like, if you asked me to, like, read the statutes myself, if I were the judge, I would look at them and say, no, 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 he can't do that. But th that's not the, the important question, whether this is legal or not. The important question is whether this Supreme Court will pretend it's legal because they're Republicans and so is Donald Trump. And I think it's likely they're going to say it is. I mean, I mean, I've been looking at the statutes and staring at them all day and – it's not as clear cut as I hoped it would be. I, I mean, I basically what it turns on is that there is a federal law saying that Trump can declare an emergency and then he can you, he can authorize construction projects provided that the emergency is for you know, requires the use of the of the military. And so I don't think this requires the use of the military. There's no reason – like the reason why Trump can't build his wall isn't that there's some emergency and the only way to address it is to send troops. The reason why Trump can't, can't build his wall is because he's unable to convince Congress to pass, the, the, to pass a law letting him build the wall. So in my mind, that's not an emergency that requires the use of the military. I mean, among other things, building isn't something that you need troops to do. You know, civilians can build things just fine. But you go to war with the Supreme Court you have, not the Supreme Court you want. And there is a long line of precedent saying that as a general rule, um, courts should defer to the president in matters of national security. Um, I think that if there are five people in the Supreme Court who want to side with Donald Trump, and there, will, there probably will be, it, like it'll be possible to write a judicial opinion that passes the last test, arguing that he can do this, and that's all they need. Who would have standing to bring this case? I mean, who would sue? I mean, I guess ostensibly probably Congress, yeah. right? Because the, he's a, he would somehow get money that has not been appropriated by Congress. Yeah. So the, the, the best plaintiff would be, I mean, a lot of the land that this you know, wall would be built on is owned by private citizens. And so if one or more of those private citizens refuses to sell it to the government, then the government would have to use the eminent domain power to force a sale. And so that person, I mean, it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it, you clearly have standing if the government comes up to you and says, hey, that land you own, we're, we're going to we're going to buy it from you. And you, you can't say no. So, like, there's no question that that person has standing. I also think that that's the best plaintiff because, like, you know, in political cases like this, they aren't about the law. They're about competing values. And you have to appeal to the values of one of the judges whose vote you're trying to get in order to convince that judge to be on your side. And so I think there's an off chance that if like a property owner comes into court and says, look, I am a property owner, guys, like you love Ayn Rand, like I'm the person you're supposed to be looking out for. So protect me. I think that there is an off chance that someone like Thomas or Gorsuch might be, you know, by Jove, I do love Ayn Rand. I'm not here to protect Muslims, but property owners, they, those are important people. So there's an off chance that I think, you know, one of the Republicans on the court could rebel. But realistically speaking, like, th this is the court that upheld the Muslim ban. I, I think they're going to be very deferential to a Republican president. 
And in, in that scenario we're talking about is months away, right? I mean, so the idea is that Donald yeah. Trump says, we're building the wall. I can do it. I'm getting the money from here or there. And he starts to build the wall or he doesn't. It doesn't, you know, from a political standpoint, um, it. It, it may very well be irrelevant or I guess, you know, whether there's a legal recourse because he's just he just wants to say he's going to build it anyways. Um, and that's basically that's basically it. I mean, I guess the um, yeah. the question is, legally speaking, if he is allowed to do this, it seems like it might open up a set of can of worms or no for future yeah. presidents. Oh. Oh, there's no. I mean, like, let's be clear about what what Donald Trump, at least like according to news reports, is contemplating. Donald Trump is saying that he can use the United States military to take people's land. I, I mean, think about that for a second. I, 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 I mean, like, you don't have to be a, a, a crazy libertarian to, to you know to listen to that. He wants to use the military to take people's land. To be uncomfortable with that, I, I, I and like, isn't frankly, that like posse comitatus? I mean, isn't there? I mean, a whole raft of. Uh, I mean, aside from just sort of like yeah. uh, the you know sort of uh, takings and uh, eminent domain, like, isn't there? Uh, aren't there restrictions? I mean, I guess we saw that play yeah. out at the border when the military was sent down there, and um, I guess it was Kelly uh, and maybe Mattis said, like, you can't really do that legally, and they just did it. Right. Right, yeah. The Posse Comitatus statute says that you can't use the Army or the Air Force to enforce domestic laws. So, you know, you could argue that this violates that statute. I mean, there's a lot of really good arguments that you can raise. But, again, in these politically charged cases, they don't operate at the level of laws. They operate at the level of values. And so what I'm hoping happens is that there's at least one Republican on the Supreme Court who, who thinks about this. Again, we're talking about the president ordering the military to take people's land, you know, and, and, and that, that should shock you. I mean, it, it, it should shock them. And, and like these are people who are supposed to care about property rights. So I, I think that's the best shot of stopping Trump here is to get someone like a Thomas or a Gorsuch to understand that, again, he wants to order the military to take people's land. You know, maybe that'll be enough, but I'm not optimistic. Yeah, uh, I will not hold my breath. Um, Ian Milheiser, um, thanks for I mean, well, so let me just ask you this, and this might be outside your your uh, your portfolio, but from a um, a political standpoint, he gets up there tonight. He announces that uh, there's a national emergency, um, despite the fact that we found out the administration had to walk back uh, the 4000 terrorists uh, right. crossing the border. Uh, it turns out there were six people over the past two years who were on the terrorist watch list, which, of course, you know, at one point, I think Senator Kennedy was on that list, too. So uh, yeah. that list is of of dubious um, uh, nature. But nevertheless, so do you have a sense? And like I say, maybe this is outside your portfolio, but uh, he yeah. announces, hey, I'm building the wall. I, I'm going to get the money from the DHS and uh, I'm taking it, you know, because it's national emergency powers from the, you know, uh, this surplus budget and we're going to build the wall. And so uh, I don't care if you put it in the uh, budget or not. I'll sign the budget. Is it, And then just we're done. The, the government shutdown is more or less over tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that's, there's the possibility is that Trump uses this as his out so he can end the shutdown before people start getting really mad because they aren't getting their, they aren't getting their uh, their tax refunds. I mean, may, maybe this is just his fig leaf that he's using. But the problem with this fig leaf is that, like, I don't know that that, that this Supreme Court is going to get the joke. I don't know that they're going to realize that, like, the right. point of this is, you know, it, 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 it's to strike it down. Um, you know, maybe they will. And like maybe they will understand. I mean, again, if the president can order the military to take people's land, then I don't know why President Elizabeth Warren can't say, OK, I'm going to order. The, you know, I think it's a national security threat that too much banking power is concentrated in too few, few individuals. So I'm going to order the military to seize the banks. 
You know, I, I don't know why President Ocasio-Cortez can't say, you know, I think it's a national security emergency that poor people don't have adequate access to health care. So I'm going to order the military to seize a bunch of people's land so we can build public hospitals there. I, I mean, if, 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 if the Roberts Court really wants to go there, then, like, you know, yeah. this can cut in ways that they're not going to like. That doesn't necessarily sound too bad to me, but um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Ian Melheiser, um, uh, Justice Editor, ThinkProgress.org. Thanks so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right.